Welcome back, beautiful Expresso family. You're still on your feel-good breakfast show. And this morning, we have got two people who honestly and truly are exactly what the youth needs to be. Yes. Talented. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm talking about the fact that today it is exciting. It is Peter Schaefer's iconic play, Amadeus, that is opening at Peter Torin's Monte Cassino Theatre tonight. And it is going to be something for your eyes to definitely see. And I'm talking about the fact that when we look at what Peter Schaefer did with Amadeus, it is genuinely one for the books which is why I'm so excited that yet again many generations get to be inspired by it. A tale that is all about vengeance, jealousy and passion. And I'm so excited as well because we've got the two leads that are going to be actually leading everybody into a beautiful, beautiful tale. So everyone, please welcome two humans from Cape Town. It is, of course, Aidan Scott, who plays Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, as well as the beautiful Lisa Tradu, who plays his wife, Constanza. Welcome to the the show. Hello. Hi guys. Hey. Hello. How are you feeling? Tired but good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've just done like three weeks of rehearsals and we clocked out 12 o'clock last night, but we're oh. good in a week. Oh my God, and I was going to say, you know, and it's also a good thing that like for the next month, you're going to be just, you know, going over yeah. and over again. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same play every night. Literally. You know, half past seven and we do it for two hours and then we're done. And then you're done. Well, it's a good thing that you love it. Uh, but Lisa, I want to ask you, for anyone who doesn't know at home, mm -hmm. what is Amadeus all about? So, um, a lot of people think it's about Mozart, but mm -hmm. it's not actually. It's a story of Salieri, who kind of revisits his younger life and mm -hmm. his younger self as he grapples with jealousy and guilt. And yeah, I think we all have someone that we can look at and think, man, I really wish I was as good as them. Yeah. Um, and that's Salieri's whole problem with. Mozart. Yeah, and, and you're genuinely right. That's something that almost everyone feels, yeah. but you must never feed into it. But this yeah. is why it's also interesting yeah. to see how it plays out in other days, right? 100%. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask you, sir, because uh -huh. you're someone who has toured the world, playing all of these different characters. What was different about this character and just in terms of you being challenged by it? Well, it's like you think Mozart and you just think kind of weird white hair and like yes. conducting and <laughs> composing and making you know these like classical weird sounds yes. um and he feels so kind of grand but at the end of the day he was just a kind of guy that yes. was a, a child in his heart oh. and so the script was amazing because he like one of his first lines is he loves poo jokes yes. and he loves like <laughs> fart sounds and stuff yes. and i'm just like this is not the mozart that i learned about no but this is the mozart that i love yes. um and and it was based off a lot of the letters that he wrote to his parents mm. and he just like dropped fart jokes and poo jokes and i'm like this is amazing <laughs> i love that but also a genius uh, yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. we never forget that never. part uh, someone who seems like a genius as well though is you lisa because you Personally are or my character no you oh. because you're an illustrator you're an mm. actress uh, you're also a children's book author, you're all of these different sure. things. How do you do all of it? And you know, how do you also make sure that you zero in on each and every one of them? Well, I think um, luckily and unluckily, um, being an actress in this country means that there's a lot of unemployment time. Sure. So I have lots of time to <laughs> do other things. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just being a freelancer in this. Oh, yeah. I have true, jobs after this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But but it's also because you love it, right? Yeah. 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 Most definitely. I also think that when it comes to people who are in the entertainment industry and in even the acting industry, seeing your passion is always so yeah. easy. Do you know what I mean? Big time. Big time. But let's talk about this in terms of the cast and everyone coming together. What was it like in terms of you guys? You know, making sure that you genuinely were staying true to the actual play itself. So, I, I, so interestingly enough, the play is usually done with about 30 cast members. Mm -hmm. That's an expensive show. And it looks very pretty and it's a very expensive show. Yes. We're doing it with eight people, <gasps> which is, so we have kind of people doubling up in different roles. Yes. And all actors are on stage at all times, which is just, I don't know, it's a really special part so about this production. Costume changes, scene changes. In front of the audience. Setting changes, everything happens in front of your eyes and it's kind of like all constantly moving. Oh, wow, exactly. guys, I love that. And for both of you, what do you love most? about what you guys have done with this and what the audience can expect? I don't know, the generational thing where it's like we have two actors that are 20 years old, we have two actors that are 30, we have a 40-year-old and we have a 60-year-old and it's just this generational blend of like different ideas, different ways of working yes. and uh, different kind of skin colours and different genders and it's just a beautiful mixed match of beautiful people yes. um, telling a classic old story but in a way that kind of feels real today. 
come on. That's exciting, you know. It's that is exciting. exciting to do as well. I love that. Guys, I can already tell from your energy that it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an experience. Also, <laughs> tickets. Do you know where people can get them? Web tickets. Web tickets. Beautiful. Just Google it. <laughs> that is my favorite answer. I'm so <laughs> done. These two are a lot, but this is the thing. This is what you always want when you're going off to go and experience something because you can tell that they give their all and it is going to be happening. Like I said, from tonight to the 8th of March all the way until the 7th of April. It is Peter Schaefer's Amadeus and it is opening at Monte Casino tonight. For now, though, we, of course, have so much still coming up right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show and the beautiful Zoe is standing by in Cape Town. Hi, Zoe.